the idea of india as a as a phrase has been used uh in different contexts uh through you know many over the over the years uh, and uh, by many people so if you recall uh there was a book uh, by uh sunil khilnani a few years ago i think it was in 90 late 90s and uh, he used this phrase and said the idea of india uh and of course he was focused on the democracy in this country and it being a success uh, in you know after 50 years of independence and so on and then it acquired a little bit of notoriety recently with rahul gandhi using the term uh you know rather loosely and saying that the idea of india is that it's a union of states and of course he came under a lot of flack for that so uh, what are you positioning as your idea of india in this book well um, let me go back to uh, sunil khilnani's uh, book the idea of india when it was published uh, uh, pbs in the united states asked me to have a debate with him which i did because uh, my critique of that book was that it basically presented uh, the colonial view of india um, which had been written up before let's say by uh, jawaharlal nehru's uh, famous the discovery of india and uh, as it was uh, then um, given a, a, a specific shape in the bureaucratic system that emerged so i was sort of uh, critical and uh, there was the reason pbs asked me to debate uh, uh, sunil khilnali but to go back there has been um, uh, a self uh, understanding of what india is uh, um, within um, our uh, civilization and we see this reflected um in the puranas and in the other texts and, um, and there has been a kind of a disjoint between that self self understanding and the view that's been repeated uh, in uh, textbooks and uh, and journalism articles um, in india and elsewhere over the last 75 years so i thought i need to revisit it because the, this is something i worked on for a long time and especially two aspects the colonial view of india basically saw india as a hierarchical state uh, with caste as uh, its defining um, characteristic and also a state uh, or as a civilizational area which did not have a tradition of science now both of these are wrong uh, sociologists uh, now admit that uh, the way caste is understood in india now is a construct of the british you know it was uh, the 1901 census there were various jatis of course we have jatis communities and we have jatis in every country so there were jatis but these jatis um, thought that they were equal to each other but the english uh, force fitted them into the theoretical varna scheme so that was one issue and sadly uh, because of the implications of uh, this uh, uh this caste uh, uh, concept um, many people in india have sort of internalized it so it it is a real problem the second was the english need to be here because um ours is an age of science and the indians don't have a tradition of science so we europeans will teach science to india and that is totally wrong because india has preeminently been the uh the the civilization of knowledge and um, until uh, very recently until the um the scientific revolution of 3 centuries ago india was the foremost uh scientific nation in the world and the idea that triggered the scientific revolution namely that of infinite series and calculus was done in india 3 centuries prior in kerala in the famous uh, kerala school of mathematics and astronomy so uh given all of this i thought uh, i should uh, uh, go back and uh, not only focus on caste and uh, science but also look at what do the vedas mean because they have been misinterpreted and is it indeed true that india was a kind of a uh, uh civilization without agency we only receive and uh, what i have tried to show based on uh, recent scholarship uh, from uh, across the world that india exported its ideas in a very vigorous way to all of eurasia uh, ranging all the way from japan and china to the slavic world and to europe 
and that's a continuous uh, uh, stream and and so this is what uh, the book sort of puts together and i'm hoping that all these lesser known facts about india and india's interaction with the rest of the world will uh, appear as uh, something interesting uh, because they are not a part of the curriculum right now Please remember to subscribe to us and switch on the notifications for this channel. For our other social media links, more content and to support our work, please visit citti.net. Dhanyawad. Namaskar.